you know, honestly, I think educative.io is one of the best platforms for like that text-based learning versus video. Over like the last 10 years, I spent like thousands of hours watching video and sometimes you just want to switch it up and you can also learn a lot more um, from text that you'll use in your day-to-day -day job simply by learning from text. Today we'll go over some of the key features, we'll go over some of the unique selling points, some of the things I don't like, and if this is a great option for you. Now if you're wondering where I'm at today, I'm at the Mill Creek Poppy Roasters. It's in downtown Salt Lake City. I highly suggest you come by if you're in town. Let's get into it. Let's just go over a basic overview first of what you can expect when you log in, when you get an account. You're set to the My Learning tab here, and it gives you a home and progress courses saved. It just gives you a lot of information. And as you can see, I've used them for a while, so I do have courses I've completed. So here on the home page, you can see we have a learning tab, and this is where you're going to start off with. And there's just a lot of stuff here for you to get up and going when you come back. Home, in progress, my courses. See, I've done quite a few courses in the past, and I really like the way that it just has this organized for you so you don't have to go shuffling around for stuff. It can show you what's in progress. Great little home screen here. Now, where I spend a lot of my time is on the Explore tab here to look up new courses. I use them a lot for system design, and you can just search for it, and you'll find a lot of different things. You can filter by beginner, intermediate, or advanced. And grokking the modern system, design interview, excellent. You'll get a basic overview of what you'll learn, but also you can go ahead and take a look at all of these here. As you can see, I'm not a current member, but when I'm ready to ramp up, this is gonna be my main platform, I think, just because of the way you can go through the text-based courses. Let's go ahead and take a look at one. And this also looks great on mobile. So if you're using like your phone and you want to get some information, you can just go ahead and take a look on your phone or iPad. They don't have an app at this time, I don't think. And then when you complete a section, you can go ahead and mark it as complete on whatever device and then come back to it wherever. And they have a bunch of cute little like gamifications to keep you motivated. They do have an AI mock interview. And I think for a lot of people, this could be a very affordable alternative to like the interview test prep questions I've used in the past, um, they can be pretty expensive. You know, $120 at the time of this recording is cheap for algorithms or system design, where this might be like an intermediate step. You know, you go through the courses, you learn something, and then you come through here to mock. And then when you really get good at this AI mocking, then you just go ahead and, and maybe get a, a true mock interview. But I, I think this is only available, yeah, for premium and premium plus plans. Still, if you're going to go through interviewing, I highly recommend it. I've set up like ChatGPT to do mock interviews, but it takes a ton of context. So if you're like really dependent on time, this is probably the way to go. If anyone has any experience with that, please say so in the comments. And the Cloud Labs is next. You get to do a lot of AWS and Azure stuff. And I actually use them when I was prepping for the AWS certifications, the DevOps Associate and the DevOps Professional. I, I love them. The only thing I didn't like about these is that they, they have like a CLI in a lot of them where you don't go through AWS and you go through the, the UI, which you're not going to do most of the time, but sometimes the CLI doesn't work. It can take a lot of time to set it up. I guess that's what you're there for is to set up stuff, but I feel like you can get in the way. However, it's a great, it's a great option and you don't always have to rely on your own stuff. I don't like get a massive AWS feel. And here they have personalized paths. And I really like this. If they had it when I was using Educative extensively, I would have used it. They'd give you a quiz, like, what are you looking for? Core engineering skills. Um, what position? Oof. I would say I'm at a staff engineer. Time and budget. Fantastic. Let's say I have like a medium. And what am I looking to do? All design aspects. Python, JavaScript, Java. I'm from front end, so I'll go with JavaScript. And then it will just give you, you know, what you can do. Four hours, eight hours. Custom. Let's say we can do eight hours. All right. You can take a look. And it has just set you up with JavaScript plans, which is pretty sick, to be honest. Yeah, I really like this. I would just go ahead and just crank on this week after week. I do think they have helped you with a lot of barriers, like a lot of like doing this stuff yourself, 
which you still need to do. But I think that by doing it this way, you can cut down a lot of that busy work, you know, prepping work, which is super important. But they just have streamlined it so you can spend more time prepping. And here's the project section. So the project section is great because learning by doing is one of the most powerful ways to learn. However, I still think that going through courses is great because you get that underlying knowledge and then you can move over to a project. So let's say you are an advanced level and we need something like React. There, you get you get your projects there. They'll help you, especially during the interview process, I think you can do this, but just anytime. I've done a couple of them and I think I didn't make it all the way through <laughs> just because they, they take a lot. You know, it takes it takes a lot. And here's something that I use all the time in the past is the skill path. I would say even though there's that personalized learning path, you would want to give these a, a look through. For instance, when they have the meta interview, there's a basic overview for you. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the, the unique features that they have. Of course, it's it's done in text, right? So it can be a lot faster. I also think it can be a lot slower. But the, the best thing about it is, is that you can go at your own pace. And as someone who's written like thousands of pages of documentation and also done videos, I will tell you, updating a text-based course is going to be a lot faster. So those updates can be easier to make. So you'll probably see these things update a lot faster versus video. Also, you can go at your own pace. So you're not really looking at like a video, you know, <laughs> I'm sure you've been there and like it's a completely blank screen or blank text editor and then bam. You got all the information. You don't know what happened. You can really follow along here and go at your own pace, which is the like number one thing for me when I'm learning is having context. And this is just such a wonderful way to keep that context. And a side note here is like when you are getting into your job, you need to know a lot about documentation, whether it be internal to the company that you're using or like the frameworks. And if you're afraid of documentation, this is a, this is a great way to get into it because while their courses, they are designed a lot like documentation. So uh, it's, a, it's a great transition, a great way to ease into a skill that's going to carry throughout your entire career and make you a much more efficient um, learner for programming. And again, I think we already touched on this, but with the cloud-based labs, they do have like their own like playgrounds where you're not going to be charged a, a lot of money to use these, which is great. They have guardrails. That's one thing I would say for guardrails. And the personalized learning paths, they just keep you on you know, on task, focused, whether you're new to like setting up your own learning objectives and stuff, that's another way to just kind of have the guardrails on and take a lot of that, that busy work out for you. So for the downsides, well, I mean, if you like video, this ain't it, this ain't, this ain't the place to go. Um, they don't have any video and that's, that's very intentional. However, they do have a lot of great video, ironically, on YouTube. And that's like the main issue I think I have with this. But I do also have another issue with them currently. If we take a look at the pricing that they have, they have a lot of different pricing tiers. And for me, I think it's just too confusing. Like what you get, what you don't get. Uh, you can do monthly, annual, two year. And then within that, you get different options. So, I mean, like how much more do you get, right? And what's the difference? And is it worth it? These are things you got to consider, but I think, you know, like there's, there's three, three times three, there's nine different pricing plans here and that can be confusing. I really wish they would either consolidate these to just like maybe monthly or annual two years fine, but it's just like with that and the premium and we're not exactly sure like how much more you get. I don't like that. <laughs> so. Like, let's say you're doing annual, right? It's only $249. You get seven mock interviews from AI, and you get all the cloud labs. That could be great because, like, a mock interview, like I was saying, can be like $120. And it's only 45 minutes. So right there, bam. If you just, let, let's just say we, we get the equivalent of, like, two mock interviews or something with these seven AI ones. Bam. That just saved you a ton of money, right? That, that, that justifies the annual cost. Is it worth it? probably just because you get it for a whole year and then you get seven mock interviews a month and that's going to give you the baby steps if that's what you're looking for of course if not maybe you just need the standard i don't know guys it's kind of confusing however overall overall though i think it's a fantastic platform it's been designed for developers 
by developers, and you can really tell, but it also has great UI. The user experience is excellent. I, I highly recommend you give it a shot. Let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comments, and I'd be more than happy to look at them.